Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome to another Talking Points here on Buzzing Pattaya. And to today's topic, that is, what can't you bring and what should you not bring here into Thailand when you come out? Please guys, you know, do take some time to listen to the, uh, the tips that I'm gonna give you today. Some of the things that if you ignore and you do make a mistake and bring them out here, you could end up in a lot of hot water. And uh, there's nothing worse than spoiling your holiday and uh, me getting my phone going ding while I'm trying to do my video, hold on. So tip number one is don't put your phone on loud when you're trying to make a video. Right, there we go. Right, now where were we? <laughs> Sorry, at least I keep it real, guys. Um, so yeah, things that you can't bring into Thailand, you mustn't bring into Thailand. And of course, you know, coming up now in five to six days time, oh no, unfortunately or fortunately, whichever way you look at it, we're gonna have Songkran. If you've never been to Songkran before, uh, yeah, come out and experience it, but the 18th and the 19th are the two best days. The rest of the days are just a pain in the backside, they really are. Uh, it's a half-hearted uh, celebration for the first seven days, but the last two days are full on and definitely well worth being part of if you've never been before. All right, so as usual, we won't be looking at me. Now, number one. These are in no particular order, I just sort of bring them up to you and, and share them with you. But number one is what you bring out with you. Now you might think to yourself, what on earth is he going on about? But your personal belongings, you are only allowed, believe it or not, you're only allowed to bring out here uh, personal belongings up to and including the value up to 200,000 baht. Now, I'm not going to say that that's a massive amount of money because if you're into your designer clothes and all that kind of stuff, you know, that can soon add up. And it's often overlooked. It's something that we don't really pay any attention to. The likelihood of that ever getting stopped in customs and the likelihood of them ever saying to you, hang about, mate, you know, you've got a few Versace's going on in there and all the rest of it, uh, is, I, I think it's probably rarer than uh, Ian buying around in a bar. Uh, but the end of the day is, you know, please, you know, just be aware if you do bring out a lot of expensive clothing, there is a slight, very slim possibility that if you happen to get pulled out in the line, and uh, the guy, maybe he knows his, uh, his uh, high-end gear, his, his Louis Vuittons and all that stuff, you might, just might, find yourself in a little bit of a situation. But like I say, it's not always guaranteed. One of the hot topics that we get here is e-cigarettes. E-cigarettes, uh, it's, it's just not allowed, guys, unfortunately. Um, I think it's down to, truthfully, I don't actually know the real and honest answer as to why. I think it's to do with tax and excise and uh, all that kind of stuff, I believe. Um, but basically, you can't bring an e-cigarette into the country. If you are caught, uh, it's very simple. They will seize your, uh, your cigarette and they may well add a little fine onto the pleasure whilst you're stood there uh, saying, sorry, I didn't know. Likewise, don't think you've got out of, the, uh, out, of the, out of the hole if you get through customs and you come here into Thailand. If you're out and about and you're, you're using your e-cigarette and you're vaping, uh, and they catch you, they see you, if a policeman sees you, he is well within his rights and is more than likely gonna confiscate it off of you and give you an instant on the spot fine. So again, you know, these situations, you might think happy days, I've got through customs, no drama, I can go and enjoy myself now and, and use my, uh, my e-cigarette. Unfortunately guys, that's not the case. Yes, you see it happening around here, many, many places, many, many people, that doesn't mean it's right, it just means they're running the gauntlet and maybe sooner or later they are gonna get caught. And if they get caught, like I say guys, it's out of the game, a small fine, and uh, that's at best. So be very, very cautious. Likewise, on that subject, you are gonna get uh, street traders. I just wanna be honest with you guys, uh, you know, be very careful who you buy your stuff from because it's not unheard of for a street vendor to present you with an option of buying an e-cigarette and uh, around the corner might be his mate, the man in blue, in, in blue and brown, sorry, the man in brown, and uh, he comes around the corner, seizes the said asset, finds you on the spot, and lo and behold, as if by magic, that e-cigarette finds its way back to the same street vendor. Yes, it's wrong, yes, it shouldn't happen, but this is the way it is, that's the reality of things. Just be very, very careful, guys. To be honest with you, if you can avoid it, then avoid it at all costs. Alcohol. So you've got through into your duty-free lounge and you're thinking, happy days, let's have a bit of this because the, spir the spirits or whatever are on a, a much better rate than what you're gonna get. Uh, just be very, very aware, guys. You can't load yourself up with loads and loads of spirits. Currently, at the time of making this video, you're only allowed to bring in one liter of duty-free.
free spirits, one litre. To be honest with you, I mean, I don't know what you may or may not bring out, maybe it'd be a high-end whiskey, I guess, or something like that. But you know, the reality is what, when you come out here, there are so many uh, places where you can buy and purchase alcohol. It's not really, in my opinion, I don't know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not one of these people that drinks like the, the really posh uh, whiskeys and stuff like that. Um, but it might be just as, as, as advised just to come in and buy it here rather than you know, run the gauntlet. Because again, you know, when you do go through customs, if you are unlucky, and you know, some of you guys, you'll relate to this. I've got a mate of mine, he goes through customs, and it doesn't matter, he never ever does anything wrong. <laughs> He's always pulled out the lineup. Uh, whereas you know, many people just do whatever they want and just walk through, no, no dramas. Maybe they've got this sick sense that they can like, oh, I think this guy's looking dodgy, or maybe it's the clobber you're wearing, I don't know. But anyway, the point being is that, you know, just don't run the gauntlet, guys, because it's, you know, it's the worst way to start your holiday off, knowing that uh, you've, you've got caught cool and they've now banged you with a fine, taken off your, your spirits, and then you're back to square one again. So really, please, one litre of spirits is what you're allowed to bring into the country. But when you get out here, there are so many places you can buy spirits from, I really wouldn't worry about it. I mean, just as an example, if you go to any of the big Tesco's, you know, these big Lotus Seas and all those places, they've got a good range. The big Tesco at the top of Trepsit, Mark, uh, Trepsit Road on Sukhumit Road, it's a massive one there. Uh, they've got a huge, huge selection of, of all spirits, wines, whiskies, everything, you know, you name it, they've got it. So, you know, there's an option there if that's your thing. Maybe you like to just go back into your room and sit down with a few and uh, just enjoy the evening out or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, that, that's the situation. Cigarettes and tobacco. We touched on e-cigarettes, and they're a complete no-no. Uh, normal cigarettes. You can bring into the country 200 cigarettes. That's it, just 200 cigarettes. In addition to that, you can bring in 250 grams of tobacco, and that can be included in stuff that you buy in the duty-free. So if you go into duty-free uh, and you want to buy your stuff there, again, it's included in that limitation. And it's very simple. If they catch it, if they catch you, they will just chuck it in the bin, and uh, you know where the bin goes. And then from the bin, basically, you will be presented with a fine. And it's not unheard of, it's not often, but it's not unheard of for fines to exceed well in excess of 30, 40,000 baht. Which, you know, at the end of the day, if you're coming into the country, the last thing you wanna do is get bounced with a big hit like that, because it just spoils your whole holiday. You, know, you think about 30,000 baht on a night out, whew, man, that's one hell of a night out you're gonna have. So again, you know, when you come over here, you can buy all your cigarettes, you can buy the stuff that you want. Um, there's many people walk around the streets selling them. I am not a smoker, so please don't hold me to this. I don't know how good the quality is of what they're selling you, because I just, I've never smoked, so I don't know. But again, be very, very uh, aware that if you are caught coming into the country through customs, with said amount, more than what I've just mentioned, 200 cigarettes or 250 grams of tobacco, you are gonna get leathered. On the subject of bringing stuff in, actually no, I'll leave that one to the end here. Um, medication, I get sent lots of emails, Trev, I'm on this medication, I'm on that medication, what can I do, can I bring it with me, is it okay, or will I get into trouble? If you're bringing in stuff like paracetamol, um, just anodine, you know, normal, everyday, over-the-counter medicine, then it's going to be a big no. Same with vitamin pills. If you bring vitamin pills over, again, you're gonna be faced with the same uh, situation. It's going to be a big no. For the simple reason being is, you know, without being a pharmacist and you know, going into too much technical detail, because I don't know how it's done, but I'm sure some of these tablets may or may not be uh, able to be modified with certain other things that can go into these tablets to enhance the uh, tablet if you get the drift of what I'm going on about. And so therefore it's a very basic no. And the reason that is, is because you are able to find it in abundance here. You can go into literally every street, there has to be a pharmacy somewhere. So, you know, again, you know, you can just get these things over the counter. You don't need a prescription, just walk in, tell them how many you want, and they will just happily sell you whatever. So if you want 100 uh, anodine tablets, you can buy 100 anodine tablets without, without them batting an eyelid. It really is as basic as that. However, you might have medication that is very, very important to you and it's for health reasons. So what I suggest you do is before you come out here, guys, if you are someone that has to take a certain medicine or are on certain medications, 
Go to your doctor before you leave the country and get a certificate of authenticity from the doctor to say, yes, this person with this passport name, this passport number has to take this medication as part of their daily routine or whatever the frequency is and get them to give you a standard international documentation to prove that that is okay because you require it. Now, if you can't get that for some reason, most doctors can do that. I don't know if they charge, I'm really not quite sure, uh, but a lot of doctors will help you out. But if for whatever reason you can't get the medication certificate and take a photocopy of the tablets you need, go to a proper hospital here. So like the Bangkok Patio Hospital, a lot of these big hospitals, they all have uh, pharmacies, dedicated pharmacies inside the hospitals that are approved and you can show them what you need and they will help you out. At the very worst, they may have to go seeking advice from a doctor or an approval from a doctor. Again, I don't know that happening very often, but quite, uh, quite normal, you can just go and present them with your certificate of uh, prescription. So before, let's say you go see the doctor and the doctor gives you a prescription, and then you head over to the pharmacy to go and to get, get the prescription, take a photo of it and then you can show that to the hospital out here and the chances are 99.9% .9 of the time they will help you with what you need. Incidentally, slight diversification, what is, I'm dreading the answers here, what is the cost of a prescription nowadays from the doctor? I think the last prescription I got back in the UK, I think it was about five quid, I think, five pounds. What is it now? What do you pay for a prescription in the UK? I hate asking these questions because quite frankly, some of the answers I get back is just ridiculous. And here's another one while we're quickly doing this one. How much is a packet of cigarettes, a, a packet of 20 cigarettes? How much is that? I don't smoke, but I can't imagine how expensive they may be right now in this standard times that we're going through. Uh, now, quite often, the, you know, a lot of people out here, they like to come out here, they like to make videos, they like to take a, vi a vlog of their journey here and all the things that they get up to. And some of you, yes, I know myself, I have two drones myself but they have to be licensed. And what you can do, particularly now, which is quite the theme, is you get these little pocket drones. Yep, they're fantastic, they're brilliant. You can toss them in your suitcase or in your hand luggage. They, they fit in, no dramas, you can fly them around. You must have the documentation. And if you get, in, uh, if you get stopped in customs and they see it, don't worry, you won't lose it, but what they will do is they will confiscate it and hold on to it until your departure, and then you have to go back to the said uh, customs and excise, present your certificate and they will return the goods for you as you are departing the country. Make sure you get a flyer's license if you want to come here and use a drone. It's not a difficult process, it's a bit time consuming but it's not a difficult process but it is a process nevertheless that you need to go through uh, because if they catch you guys over here, and I mean over here now, uh, it's not quite as, oh we'll just take it and give it back to you before we leave. There's all kinds of things, fines, and possible you might just lose it. You know, there's all these kind of things. And some of these drones are very expensive, so please be very, very aware. You can't just come over here with a drone and just whop it up in the air and crack on. It's not a good idea. If, it's, if you're caught, then uh, they are gonna jump on you from a high level. Cameras and other additional equipment like that, you're fine, you, you're not a problem, but remember, relating going back to 200,000 bahts of, uh, worth of personal equipment, uh, personal belongings. So just be very, very careful and make sure whatever you do that you incorporate this on your list of items in your travel insurance just in case. Uh, where are we? Uh, food, yes, food. Fresh food and stuff like that produce, you just don't wanna be bringing it into the country, okay? If they, if they see that, they're gonna jump on you from a, from a high, and you're gonna get uh, a wrap on the knuckles, most likely, and quite seriously, a fine, uh, because they don't like you bringing in these kind of things for the simple fact is that they might be carrying bacteria and all the other stuff that goes on with the fresh fruits and the, and the food. So please, please don't do that. If there's a particular dried fruit you wanna bring into the country, that's not a problem. Put it into a sealed package. You know they do the manufacturer, the manufacturer puts them into a sealed package, Leave them in that. Do not open the package and then put it into your own form of packaging. That's not acceptable. So if you are gonna bring over, I don't know, maybe some dates or some dried meat or whatever you wanna bring in, and it's in a sealed package, then you are good to go. But 
if you take it out and put it into your own plastic bag or whatever and you try and repack it and they see it and they catch you with it, no, it's an absolute no-no, guys. So again, please don't do that. Uh, most dried fruits and stuff are pretty fine, no, no issues whatsoever, but don't repackage it. All right, so last few things. Now these things, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to work this one out, but I'm gonna tell you just in case so we know where we are with each other. These are what we call jail time uh, items. Now, right now, we have a lot of, uh, of cannabis shops. We have a lot of weed shops, as you call them. Yes, you can go into these shops. Yes, you can buy certain different products. I'm not really into it because it's not my scene, uh, but it is easily and readily available out here. That's a given. However, do not bring any of that into the country with you. If you do that, you are in a world of trouble you are not going to pass go, you are not going to collect 200, and you are going to go to jail. What board game am I referring to? Uh, but yeah, you are going to go to jail. So, you know, please, please, just don't do it, guys. Just really. And that goes not just with that substance, but with all the substances. You know, don't do it, guys. It's really... I don't know if it's still there, and it's probably gone, gone down. Uh, they're probably taking it down. But I remember years and years ago, when I used to come into Thailand, when I go through customs, you know when you go with the baggage collection... There used to be a massive, huge, big sign. It's probably gone now. And it used to say, extend your stay in Thailand for free. Take drugs. And it would have a picture of a guy behind bars. But they're being serious. They are being serious. So please, you know, don't ruin your holiday just over something like that. So any form of uh, narcotics and drugs, all that kind of stuff, guys, keep it well, well away. Do not entertain it any way, shape, or form. Animals. Yes, you might think, what on earth are you on about? Maybe you happen to have a pet snake that you want to bring with you for whatever reason. And I can't believe I've just said the word snake thinking about how you're going to twist that. But anyway, I've done it now, so I can't retract it. But you might have something that you want to bring with you, an animal. Uh, maybe someone's asked you to bring an animal, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute. But all those kind of things, it's an absolute no-no, guys. Do not get involved whatsoever. Likewise with weapons. Now, I'm not talking about packing an AK-47 into your hand luggage, but what I am saying is you might have like a small pistol. You want to come over and, and test out some of the pistol ranges out here. Maybe, you know, these kind of things. It might be a, uh, an air pistol. Uh, all these things, you can't do them, guys. You can't bring them here. You're going to end up in a world of deep doo-doos. So please, please, please keep yourself out of trouble and just don't do it. Now... Two little tips, and uh, you might think this is teaching you to suck eggs, and if it is, well, I apologize, and if it's not, and you take this on board, hopefully it will save you a lot of possible and very likely problems if this happens. Keep your bags with you at all times when you are in the airport. Don't leave your bag on the, on the chair and say, oh, I'm just gonna nip out and uh, quickly go across there and have a wee because the toilets are opposite, it'll be okay. Don't say to someone, oh, can you just keep it on my bag, mate? I just want to go and quick have a, have, a, have a wee, all these kind of things. Don't leave your bags laying around because trust me, that is an invitation for the wrong type of people to do the wrong kind of things to you and you'll end up in the wrong side of the law. Keep your bags with you at all times, guys. I know it sounds stupid. You're probably looking at me thinking, is this guy for real? Is he honestly telling me to do something as basic as this? But you would be surprised the amount of people that are good-hearted, good-natured, that say to themselves, hey mate, can I just leave my bag with you? I'm just gonna quickly pop in the shop and get, get a magazine, I'm just gonna go into the toilet, is that okay? And they go, yeah, yeah, no worries. Please, please, please keep your bags with you at all times. And lastly, the last one, but all, again, you know, this, I, I know this happens, I've seen it happen. You're in the airport, you're wandering around, and a girl comes up to you crying in tears, or a guy's really flustered and really like panicky mode. Oh God, I can't believe it. Oh, and you're like, you okay, mate? No, I, I, no, I'm not. I've, I've got too many bags. I can't take them through. And they happen to be on the same flight as you. Now, isn't that a coincidence? So what happens then is you're going to be classed as a mule. Basically, they're going to ask you, mate, oh, could you just do me a favor? Just literally, just, just take it through with you. And then once you're on the airport, then that's great, mate. No dramas. I can, I'll, and I'll, I'll sort you out a drink or I'll buy you dinner or whatever. No, 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 and no. Because what you'll find is you may be a stooge. Basically, you might be given a bag that's containing all the wrong things that we've been speaking about here. You get on the airplane, they give a little nudge and say, oh yeah, there's a guy in here, I know he's got this, that, and the other. Customs and excise will make a, make a beeline for him, and that person that set you up just walks through the, through the uh, airport carrying what they need to carry without any disturbance because their focus isn't on them, it's on you. 
So guys, please, you know, don't trust any strangers. Just don't trust them. In the airport, all the little tricks and that they'll play, you know, girls crying, oh, I can't take it, and my, my, my baby need on my whatever. You know, when you get given a bag, it's very unlikely you're going to open it up and say, what's in there? Oh, yeah, okay. You're going to go, look, you know what, give it to me. I'll take it for you. No dramas. Please, guys, just don't do it. All right, so what I would ask, guys, is one thing, is if you had any of these experiences and you're happy to share the outcome, please, you know, please share the outcome down below. Uh, drop it in the comment section. Let us know how did it go for you? What was the outcome? And uh, was it a simple mistake or was it something you thought, oh, I'll be all right, and then you found out you weren't? You know, we've all run the gauntlet. Don't worry about it. Uh, but just drop your comments below. All right, guys, there you are. That's it for me today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed today's video. Like I say, put the overlays over the top so you don't have to look at me. And uh, like, like, I, like I've already said, just, just take these things step by step by step. Please don't make those mistakes. All right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember, hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon. If you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video, have a look on our new website, buzzingpataya.com. Have a look on there. Um, there's loads of information on there. There's loads of different things going on. So have a look on there. There's also our, our link to our members area where all kinds of stuff goes on behind those closed doors. Uh, so have a look on there. Join us on Discord. We've got over nearly 10,000 members now. It's going from strength to strength. So please have a totally free of charge. Get yourself involved. This is the perfect platform to ask the kind of questions about this topic I've just been discussing. And if you'd like to support the channel, there is a link in the description below. All right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much indeed for watching. And please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.